Okay, everybody. Well, time for a bit more of a mess around with this old thing. Um, as you remember, I uh, did a video on uh, asking for some help on the, um, the power on issues with it, where it would not boot up. It would just come on for a bit, run the fan, then shut off. Well, turns out that main board had intermittent faults as well as a dead RAM card, so I long since uh, canned that. But I've uh, replaced it with an ASUS board. I've put a, um, it's got a Pentium dual core on it, I recall it being, with a, uh, it's just a generic ASUS board, 2007 date. But, um, as you can see, it's working alright. I've got it to our uh, setup, but we do, um, have a bit of an issue when it, uh, boots up. There's your make and model there. Just freeze frame that if you're particularly interested. Well, that's saying detecting drives done, no any drives found. So somebody's been messing with it. And then it uh, basically just keeps saying boot manager is missing, press control, alt, delete to restart. You do that far very crudely. And. It just goes around in a cycle, this is all it can do. Can't actually get it to respond to any of the drives. There's an 80 gig uh, SATA hard drive in it. Then you got the uh, Pi it's a Pioneer DVD ROM drive. Then there's a Panasonic floppy disk drive hiding around the side there. So it's, it's a complete computer, it's just usual issues. That's all it's doing at the moment, so. If anybody knows whether there's anything um, that's missing that I actually need to include in this, let me know because I would like to set this up as a proper desktop machine, get it working. But it is complete in there if you can see. There's plenty of ventilation, it's partly why I've got that hole in the side, it's just to get some airflow into it. Uh, yeah, I can uh, power's on, which is the main thing, but it, uh, I really hope it's not a fried mainboard, although I do have the, um, the worst hopes of it being yet another dead board, but, uh, at least I've got another one of these ASUS boards that I can drop in it if I have to. It's fairly easy to, uh, get parts in and out of it, but, anyway, I'll, uh, just let it boot again, just to give you another demo. weird. Never seen a message like that, but yeah. If anybody knows what's going on, um, put a comment below, uh, and it'd be much appreciated, and hopefully I'll be able to get this thing working properly. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah, don't know how well the camera's gonna pick this up, but this is just a quick look at how I set the picture tube up inside the, uh, the wood-cased computer monitor. I've got a, um, plywood front. That's the only part that is actual plywood. It's just the uh, lugs for the implosion band with the original bolts uh, holding it on since they're self-tappers. And then we've, that's 12mm ply. And then we've got 15mm um, radiana pine board just for the, uh, the sides and the back and the base. And the main board is actually sitting in that moment. As you can see, it slides around, but as long as it's not run upside down or anything, it's pretty much right as it is. The cables are pretty much holding it in place, but it uh, it works good. I made sure I keep the uh, neck board clear of the back of it, even though it's it's got the foam on just to give it sort of like keep it pressed onto the uh, the neck of the tube. But yeah, it's uh, I'll give it a power up and just show you what it uh, looks like from the inside. Nothing much to uh, see really, but. Yeah, this is where your crackly noise comes from. It's actually a neck board grounding out. Your flyback transformer. There's that little relay there that activates the decal coil. See so if we can get the glow of the CRT. You're really not supposed to do this with running computer monitors. I do not recommend anybody try this. But if you can see the neck there, it should be glowing.
but that's my uh, my old computer monitor. Thanks for watching.